Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, and that usually means that we are going to see upgrade packs today inside of FIFA for this promo that is going on right now. Sunday is usually upgrade pack day, so I want to talk about the potential upgrade packs we could be getting today, what that could look like for this game, and what that could mean for maybe some SBC crafting purposes as well as we hopefully will get some sort of player SBC, some other content today alongside those upgrade packs. I also want to talk about the Kimmich SBC that was released yesterday, how that affected the market and SBC fodder. And also, these Summer Stars items got absolutely destroyed. And I think this is something we're going to have to keep coming back to because it tells us about how preview packs are going to impact this market on the weekends and basically daily in FIFA on the weekends when we have these promos. And that's something we have to get used to right now looking into FIFA 22 if we expect preview packs to be involved in FIFA 22, which I think we will see. So let's look back at yesterday first and talk about this Kimmich SBC. I don't know what EA Sports has going on right now with right mids in FIFA, but we have a right mid Jordan Sakiri and then a right mid Joshua Kimmich two days in a row back-to-back -back right mid player SBCs, not to mention the position changed Kevin De Bruyne. But this Kimmich card looks great, right? Four-star, four-star, I got the upgrade there. It makes sense they gave him a right mid position because of where he played for Germany in some of the... Uh, the Euro 2020 games. This card looks absolutely unbelievable. It's coming in right around 500,000 coins to do this SBC. If you're a Bayern fan, if you're a Germany fan, or if you just think this card is insane, which he, I think is going to be incredible. I mean, I've, I've been a fan of the team of the year for a long time, but look at that upgrade over the team of the year. Eight pace, six shooting, two defense, or sorry, two, two less defense, but two more dribbling, one passing. So really, really awesome looking card right there for a box to box or a CDM. Of course, um, club 90 stats is insane, but 2,300 upvotes and fodder actually went up yesterday with this SBC being out. And I think fodder being pretty low as well has, you know, fodder raising up a little bit, but this is the part about this that is interesting is these fodder prices rose during all the supply with preview packs during the England game. Uh, when a lot of people were watching the euros and watching games and not actually on FIFA, this fodder was on its way up, which is to me, tells me there's a lot of demand for this Kimmich SBC and the other SBCs that are out, like Ramos, maybe the United States Nation players, Jan Shakiri. People are doing SBCs right now in FIFA, and I think that's why you saw this fodder go up. Uh, you know, Index 86, I think, is uh, up a little bit as well. Not much. You can see down here at 210 points and is right now in the 230. So it definitely went up. I mean, fodder is not expensive. You still have 84s down in the 6K range, 85s at 10K, but they were a little bit cheaper yesterday before, or sorry, yesterday before the content. Yeah, Friday night and Saturday morning before the content on Saturday. And then you did see some of this stuff go up. Now, again, today on Sunday, we're expecting upgrade packs. So if you're waiting to craft some of these SBCs like myself, and you're hoping for like a nice 81 plus player pick or something like that, then you might still keep waiting because we will still have preview packs applied today and we will still have more market drop on these Summer Stars items. That was another one of the big things that happened yesterday on this game. And I want to just talk about why it happened. This, this is something that we're going to have to get used to because it's going to happen almost every single uh, week in FIFA. Every single week that we have a promo Friday, what we're used to seeing is, you know, the cards kind of slowly drop off on the weekend. But I think what we're seeing with these preview packs is it's just so much supply on the weekend that these card prices go so low, uh, so fast, right? I mean, you look at the drop off that Messi had. Take a look at this 2.5 million coins on Saturday morning with the preview packs and with the content that was released all the way down to 2.1. He's now down to 2 million coins flat on this market right now. Now, I'm not saying these cards won't rebound back up. De Bruyne was like 860. He's now back up to almost 900. Richarlison was almost 700K. He's back to 755. Um, so some of these cards kind of have hit lows and you know maybe we'll rebound a little bit into the morning today on Sunday, uh, like they did from Friday night into Saturday. But all I'm saying is, I mean, these drop-offs are pretty crazy. I mean, this Laporte was down at 230,000 coins. He's back up to 250, so a slight rise there. Just kind of, you know, you know the ones which are hype, right? Last night, I bought Richarlison's at 900, sold a few of them at 990. Just rare cards that fluctuate, right? Ronaldo, take a look at this price fluctuation. Crazy, 4.3 million coins 
after Saturday morning being 5.7. He dropped 1.4 million coins literally yesterday on this game. Kevin De Bruyne was a 1.4 million coin card. He's now 900K, like we just talked about as well. So huge price drop-offs for these Summer Stars cards, even on the low tier, right? Calvin Phillips was 200. He's now 140. And that is with the England hype and with England winning and one step closer to it's coming home um, after yesterday's uh, quarterfinal match, moving them on to the semifinals. So it's crazy, even with some hype, you see a lot of these cars just getting absolutely destroyed on the market. And I really, really do feel like we can attribute this and get used to seeing this because it's the preview packs. It really is the preview packs. Now, one argument you could make is, yeah, it's towards the end of the year. There may not be as much as demand for some of these cards because there's less people on the game. You know, that's a decent, valid argument that you could make for sure. But I just think that it's crazy with the amount of supply that we have and the amount of people that get on FIFA now just to check their preview packs. They might not even get involved with the content every day, but they get on FIFA to look at their preview packs just in case they pack something incredible or they pack something insane. And that's people that are getting on FIFA and, and trying out these packs. Bro, I can buy this Cristiano Ronaldo. What the frick? I was not expecting to see this when I logged on to my FIFA Ultimate Team. 4.35 mil, 4.38. Dude, I literally have enough coins to buy this Ronaldo. That's insane. Uh, just a huge drop-off where yesterday this guy was 5.7 mil. And I wasn't thinking that I could afford him. Boom, here we are. Uh, and then Messi has dropped off so much as well. Just unbelievable amount of drop-offs in price with a lot of these cards. It's just crazy to see. But it's I really think it's all due to that supply. There was really, the Kimmich SBC didn't cause a lot of this panic. It's literally just supply from preview packs. Um, and I think maybe even people that were selling off cards from today that, that did not want to get involved with them and honestly just a a general um maybe people are not super happy with this game at the moment i guess that could be part of it too when they don't want to pay too much for these cards when everything else in fifa is cheap i mean yes it is the end of the year and like so many other different cards are pretty cheap so that makes sense why some of these cards have dropped off too but these preview packs just bring supply to the market because yes you could say well there's lightning round preview supply but there's also the 25k pack supply the 45k pack supply that everybody in this game can open those three packs. And if you're opening the the you know the 50k lightning round, the 100k lightning round, the 125, and then this 100k pack that is after lightning rounds, there's just so many packs that you can open and test your luck. And with all those more packs being open, that just makes for more promo cards to be open because there's more packs being opened. Um, and then of course when those promo cards drop, people buy them. So Again, I'm really curious to see how this goes into FIFA 22. I think they're going to have to drop the pack weight because seriously, people are going to be packing Mbappe's, Neymar's, Messi's, Ronaldo's, you know, first couple weeks uh, next year in FIFA 22, and it's going to get crazy. So I really hope they drop that pack weight because I feel like unless they don't manipulate that pack weight, it's going to be kind of supply city on the market for these cards. And I'm really, not, I'm, I'm kind of worried to be completely honest about how that's going to impact the game. But I think that is where we can attribute our price drop-offs from yesterday's market on these cards. They're probably gonna drop off even more today with upgrade packs coming out and with more preview packs. It's just gonna be more supply, weekend league sell-off. Even though the weekend league is extended, you're probably still gonna to start to see some of that sell-off and some of these cards uh, drop off a little bit as well. So that was one thing I wanna talk about because again, the preview packs are just changing this market and changing this game and making everything so much more supplied. And we saw that yesterday big time with the price drops. I mean, Messi at 2 million coins. If I see one of these pop at 2 mil flat, I'm going to get pretty interested just because that seems really, really cheap for Messi. And there's one on bid there for 1.99. Anyways, that's crazy with these summer stars. But honestly, I, I bet they drop a little bit more even today on Sunday. Now let's move into Sunday and talk about that just a little bit because, of course, we are hyped for potential upgrade packs because let me be honest, I've got 4.3 million coins, which is more coins than I thought that I had, and I am down to spam a lot of coins into upgrade packs because there is a lot to craft right now in this game. There really is, right? Ramos is a card that I want to do. Shakiri, I would be fine doing him after maybe doing the United States Nation players, right? A lot of SBCs available right now. James Rodriguez is one that I'd be interested in doing too. So if there's any of these SBCs that you want to do, today might be a day where if you haven't just shelled out the cash out of pocket to do them, um, you can go ahead and hopefully craft them through upgrades. Now, the also great part about this is 
we have informed grindable SBCs with an 81 plus team link upgrade and an 85 to 90 tots upgrade that can give you fodder if there is a tots or a team of the week requirement. And that's going to make crafting even easier. If you're doing 81 plus player picks, all of your 82s, you can go slap into this 85 to 90 upgrade and boom, all of a sudden there you have a team in the season card. So when you go to do an SBC, I don't know if Kimmich required any of those today. He didn't. Kimmich did not require any team of the seasons. Did Shakiri? Shakiri didn't either. And I know that Ramos, I believe Ramos didn't as well. So they've kind of done away with those requirements at the moment. But at least with your 82s and your 83s that you get, unless you're doing like James Rodriguez, he has a lot of low uh, rated squads. You're going to be able to dump your low rated fodder that's maybe duplicates or that you get from upgrade packs into this into these upgrades so i think that's a w and it's going to make crafting really really good the only thing we need are just good value upgrade packs now in my opinion what they would drop today we had the 82 to 88 last week and we had the rare player picks so i really 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 hope they drop an 81 plus player pick today and then maybe like an 81 to 87 pack or something like that i i feel like we'll get one player pick and one pack. So I really hope that's the thing that they do today, but an 81 plus player pick would be phenomenal. I don't think you would see rare golds on the market move that much. I mean, they could move up a little bit, but I wouldn't really expect them to be over like 1K. I mean, how much are rare golds at the moment? I'd be surprised if people are really preparing for upgrade packs today. They're basically discards. So if you want to get involved with some rare goals, that could be something that you do. If you're speculating that upgrade packs would come today, which I think they would. I really hope that they would. Uh, the only thing that, you know, sometimes EA, I don't know, man, there's two 99 rated cards in packs. And I think that could be something where EA says, nope, that's too much. We're not going to let people do upgrade packs. But it's also July. So EA, if, if you're going to hold back upgrade packs because of a 99 Ronaldo and a 99 Messi, then that's really scummy. And I don't think they'll do that, but I'm just throwing it out there because I guess it's there's potential that they could. So I hope that they don't, but again, I'm thinking that they could. So I'm hoping for some sort of upgrade packs today. Also, we haven't had icon content in a, in a hot second. We've had a couple SBCs, but those have gone away. And icon player upgrades as well, we have not seen any new ones. I think the last two we had were, was it? Yeah, it was Maradona and Thierry Henry, I believe, right? Um, so... We were, I mean, we're due a couple more icons as well. They've been putting out some big boys. So hopefully they put out more big boy icon SBCs if they are going to do that today. And they could release another sort of icon player pick or another icon upgrade pack today as well. I feel like today could be a pretty big day of content. I really do think that it could be. Uh, and if we do get an, an icon upgrade, especially if it's a player pick, then I do think that would make fodder go up a little bit more today too. So that's something to kind of keep a watch out for, keep an eye out for. But I'm honestly not going to put too much fodder in my club right now because I'm really going to hit some upgrade packs hard. Now, if we get skunked today and EA does not drop upgrade packs, then we'll be definitely upset. But um, I'm going to hold off and I think they're going to drop it, right? Because it's July and there's these cards and packs and they've been dropping player picks for almost every promo or upgrade packs of some sort for almost every single promo this year. So I'm going to hold out for that, start crafting Ramos, start crafting the U.S. Nation players and the main man, James Rodriguez. That'll be, those are some of my favorites that I want to craft through doing player picks. And that'll be something that we can grind throughout the rest of this week while this team one is in packs. And then maybe we can do, uh, and if you think about it as well, in the past, like PTG team one, we had 81 plus player picks and everybody saved some of those 81 plus player picks for team two. And then the team two upgrade packs came out and they were those 82 plus ones that required an 80 rated squad or whatever. And it was trash and nobody did them. So that's another reason why I really hope that they put in 81 plus player picks. I would love to spam those this week. Try to hit a Neymar, sorry, a Messi, a Ronaldo, Richarlison, De Bruyne, any of those big boys. Um, even Laporte would be pretty sick to pull. Uh, and then, of course, craft all the SBCs that are possible as well. So it could be a pretty big day of content on Sunday with upgrade packs and with that more kind of stuff affecting the market. Now, if we get big time content today, that's probably just going to drop the market on these uh, on these cards even more. It's going to drop the Messi. It's going to drop the Ronaldo. It's going to drop basically everything on this market, in my opinion, if we were to get more upgrade packs today. Now, Messi's playing tonight in Copa America. So if I can get a Messi under two mil and if Messi scores a couple of goals, I know this is not a live card, but Messi fans around the world might be running to go try out Messi. So if maybe if there's enough 
rarity for this card tonight. If I can snag one, maybe around, you know, like the 1.9 something range, maybe we can get a sale around 2.2 overnight. We'll see. But a couple PTG movements from yesterday. Of course, Phil Foden and Showell are going to get upgraded again. And my man, Christian Eriksen's 91 card. I'm so stoked about this. This is going to a 90 three. All I'm saying EA Sports is make this the best plus two uh, boost you've, you've ever done on any of these cards. I'm so stoked. I was not expecting Ericsson to get upgraded, but with that win yesterday against the Czech Republic, they got their third win and it's a plus two coming for Ericsson. Of course, Yorente in my squad is getting a plus two as well. But of course, you saw some big time price movements on the Foden and on the Chilwell. Foden is back up to where he was when he was in packs. 1.4, 1.5 million coins on the market right now with that pending upgrade to a 97 rated card probably um, slated for friday which seems a really long time away but of course ea upgraded stuff early last week on wednesday so we'll go ahead and see again if they do that again this week but that's kind of the pulse and that's kind of just what's going on with the market right now inside of fifa 21 let me know what you guys think are you excited for upgrade packs today are you going to spam them if they come out today on sunday Obviously, 99 Ronaldo, 99 Messi is going to get a lot of people involved. If you've got coins, though, why not, right? It's freaking July. We have two more weeks of this festival football promo until the 16th of July. And then after that, it's kind of like, all right, what's next? It literally might be FIFA 22 time after that. So right now, it's kind of, you know, we're towards the end of the year. So full send it. Use the cards you want to use. Have fun. Spend coins on packs if you want to. Upgrade packs, that is. Uh, I guess if you get a good uh, preview pack, you might as well do that too. But that's just kind of my thinking of what is going on in this game at the moment. Let me know down below in the comments, as I said, if you're excited for upgrade packs today. If you did enjoy this video, smack a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.